Hello, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about five backlink factors for Squarespace SEO. So if you don't know and you're like, what is a backlink, let alone what is a factor for Squarespace SEO? Basically, a backlink is anytime another website links to yours. And this is really important for SEO because anytime you get a backlink from another like high quality website, it kind of acts as like a vote of confidence for Google, right? Remember, Google is trying to return quality websites in online searches. And if your website is like good, legit, valuable enough for other websites to be linking to it, then Google's like, mm, noted. Okay, good to know. Good to know. And that can help you improve your rankings. So backlinks is really helpful for SEO. And I do have a couple videos about it. I'll link to one up above so you can like kind of learn the basics of it. But today specifically, we are going to be talking about five backlink factors for Squarespace SEO. So if that sounds like something you want to learn more about and you want to make sure that you are getting the most out of the backlinks you can, then definitely keep watching this video. Um, we are going to dive right on into it. But before we do, I'm going to share my screen and show you that I have a free Squarespace SEO checklist and you can grab a copy of it down below. I'll leave the link to download it. And this Squarespace SEO checklist has been downloaded like thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So you're an excellent company here. And whether you are just getting started with Squarespace SEO, you're looking for someone to point you in the right direction, tell you what to do, make sure you haven't forgotten anything. Um, or if maybe you've been at Squarespace SEO a little while, you've already been doing some tinkering, but you want to ensure that you haven't forgotten anything, um, nothing's been left off your list, you haven't done anything incorrectly, then either way, this Squarespace SEO checklist will help you out. So really helpful on this front, and we'll go into it. But now, before we keep going with it, let's talk a little bit more about these backlinks and some of the factors for SEO. So as I mentioned before, backlinks are basically anytime another website links to yours, right? However, I do want to point out that like not all backlinks are created equal. And let's just spend a quick second talking about that. So first of all, if you get an, a link, a backlink or an inbound link, from another website, like a proper legit website, then that is going to be more valuable than if you get a link from, let's say, the comment section on um, a forum, like, you know, if you're linking to something on like Reddit or whatever, or if someone's leaving a comment on a blog post and the link to your website is like in that blog post comment, again, that's not going to be as beneficial as if the link is within the blog post itself, you know? And same thing too, if someone is like commenting on a social media post, right? Like on Facebook and they're like, oh, like here's a link to this website or something. Again, those are not gonna be as valuable from an SEO point of view as if the website link is actually on the, the website itself. You know what I mean? So think about too, like when we're talking about backlinks, I really want you to consider like, what type of link on another website it is and how you want to definitely be prioritizing like proper website links and not like forum comments or like things like that, okay? But now let's talk about some of these factors of the backlinks and how they apply to Squarespace SEO. So one of the first points that we're gonna talk about is linking domain age, Okay. And so that would be like, if I'm getting a link from another website, one of the factors that Google is looking at is how old or how established is that other website? Because if the website just popped up yesterday and now all of a sudden I'm getting a link on it, Google's going to be like, okay, okay, but like less valuable than if the website domain has been established for like multiple years and already has lots of content already because in Google's mind, again, that older established website is going to be more beneficial for the backlink than a website that just popped up is super recent. Um, because again, it just doesn't have the same amount of like oomph behind it, you know? So if you're thinking about like obtaining backlinks on different websites, um, essentially, like if you can start with older established, you know, really high quality websites, then that's beneficial. And then, you know, of course, move into newer ones, if that makes sense too, if that's something that you can even like 
control, but definitely think about, you know, trying to prioritize backlinks on older established websites, as opposed to just like a brand new website that popped up last week or something. Okay. All right. The second point that you want to think about as well is the blog or sorry, is the backlink anchor text. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that so that you can, you can see, I want you to like have an example. Okay. So um, for example, a while ago, I wrote this blog post, how does SEO work for Squarespace template kits? And in it, I interviewed my friend Erica, who's over at Big Cat Creative. And you guys may or may not know um, Big Cat Creative, but it's like a really fantastic place where you can buy Squarespace templates. Again, I'm not affiliated. I just she's a friend of mine and I want to show you in this example. But you see here how the way I'm linking, it says like the link is like Big Cat Creative, right? So that's the anchor text that is the link. And so in this case, this link here is a backlink over towards Erica's website, right? So from my perspective, it's an outbound link, right? Because I'm linking from my website to Erica's Big Cat Creative. However, for Erica, it's an inbound link or a backlink because another website is linking to her. And one of the things, again, that Google's looking at when it comes to backlinks is what is the anchor text, right? So here where I'm like, Big Cat Creative is what I'm linking, right? Um, you know, like if I had just linked, let's say Erica runs Big Cat Creative, right? But if I'd put the link on the word Erica, then it's going to have less of an SEO impact than if I actually linked Big Cat Creative, which is her brand or her business name, you know? And again, it's the keywords that Google is looking at, right? Like Google associates the Big Cat Creative business with the keywords Big Cat Creative, right? And less so with the keyword Erica, even though she's like the founder and stuff. So do you see how it can be beneficial that way? And same thing here, another example of like these links or something. Um, let's say you're linking to someone's like services page or like a blog page or whatever. It's a good idea to literally like write them out, you know? So like, what is the title? What is the like services page, the full information and not just like blah, 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 click here and then link the click here. So do you see how the anchor text is important? And you can kind of keep that in mind as well. Um, if you're thinking about getting backlinks and stuff. Okay, the third factor that we want to talk about when it comes to backlinks is the number of linking domains, okay? And so the number of linking domains is in fact something that you can have some control over. So basically, Google's mind, when Google is establishing or is evaluating the backlinks that you have to your website, um, they want to know how many of them there are. And you might be looking at it right now and you can like go to the analytics tab of your website and you might be like, oh my God, like I don't have any backlinks or I only have like one or two or something. And remember, that's okay. You won't get penalized for it. However, you will get rewarded with a potential like boost or uptick if you have more backlinks to your website, because it's again, it's a factor for SEO that Google really likes. So the cool thing about this is that if you're like, oh, I don't really have any backlinks, then you can actually go out and start a backlink strategy in order to obtain more backlinks so that you increase the number of backlinks from different domains. And again, doing this, if you get more backlinks from different domains, it helps to you know, see Google, Google sees your website is more legit, valuable. There's a reason why all of these other websites are linking to you, vote a confidence, good thing. So again, the number of linking domains is definitely a factor from it. And the good news is that it's something that you can control through a backlink strategy. Okay. All right. That brings us to the fourth point now that we're going to talk about, which is the authority of the linking pages or domains. So when I talk about the authority of the linking pages or domains of those backlinks, again, I want you to think about the example um, that I just shared with 
when I was linking to my friend Erica's website, like Big Cat Creative, right? So both of us, we've had our websites up and running for like years at this point and stuff. We both create like a lot of content. Um, you know, these are established websites, right? Or same thing too, if imagine you get like an amazing media feature in like, I don't know, the New York Times or something like, wow, amazing how incredible that would be. Well, you know, in terms of like the authority of the websites, obviously, if you got a link from the New York Times, that is going to be no shade to me, but like a link from the New York Times is going to be more beneficial for SEO than a link from my website, just because obviously the New York Times is much bigger, established, it's like massive and stuff. Whereas my website, by comparison, is small fish. And that's fine, right? No problem. But my website is much more established and has a higher authority than a lot of smaller, newer websites that maybe just like have a couple pages and don't have anything else to it, right? So there is a certain like sliding scale when it comes to the authority of the web pages or domains that are linking to yours, but it is something to consider. And again, if you're going through with your backlink strategy and trying to obtain different backlinks, you definitely want to consider what kind of authority do those other domains or web pages have when you're getting them to link back to your website. Okay. And then that brings us to the fifth and final point that we're talking about today, which is what is the link domain relevancy of the backlink that you're getting? Okay. So the link domain relevancy of the backlink. Again, let's use that example of the Erica at Big Cat Creative and my website. So if you think about it, remember her website is all about Squarespace template kits, right? And my website is all about Squarespace SEO. So they're, they're not identical websites by any means, but they are within a similar like world, right? Like there, there is overlap to the type of content that we have on it, right? Like there's some interest, even the keywords that we're trying to share with Squarespace, where she's talking about Squarespace template kits, I talk about Squarespace SEO, but like they're in the same kind of genre. So in this case, Google is going to look at like the links between our two websites and be like, oh yeah, like, oh my God, that makes sense, right? Like I totally get it. It's valuable. It's relevant. Um, so that's a good sign for both of us, right? However, let's say if I got a link from, I'm a Squarespace SEO expert. And for some reason I got a link from like a plumber website or a florist or something like that, then Google wouldn't put those links with the same amount of weight, because again, they're going to be like, what relevancy does Squarespace SEO have with a plumber or a florist, right? And so they're going to be like, is this a legit link? Is it like, does it make sense contextually? Like, what is it doing here, right? So again, if you're thinking about getting backlinks for your own Squarespace website, and this is part of your strategy, then you definitely want to consider what is the relevancy of these other websites? You know, and some of them can be adjacent. Like, let's say if you are a wedding photographer and you're linking to like the venue of one of the weddings that you recently shot, or if you're like including a link, you have photos in the gallery of like the cake or something and you link to the cake, right? Then that makes sense contextually why you have that link on your website. But if you're just getting a link from kind of like, a random website that has no relevance to you, your brand, your business, Google is going to be like, what's going on here? And you probably will not see the same kind of like SEO boost as if you got the backlink from a web page that was much more relevant. I hope that makes sense there. All right, my friend, there we go. We have covered five different uh, backlink factors and how it plays out with SEO on your Squarespace website. I hope this was new. I hope you learned something. And if you are beginning with your backlink um, phase of Squarespace SEO, that's amazing. I love to hear it. I have quite a few more videos about backlinks here on my channel. So I'll like link to some in the like cards in the description or whatever. So you can take a look at those or just search backlinks on my YouTube channel. You'll find some of the other ones there. Um, but yeah, I have lots more content all about Squarespace SEO, web design, development, um, online marketing here on my YouTube channel and lots more content on my website. So take a look at that if you are interested. And otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, you can 
like it or leave me a comment down below. Um, and I will see you again soon in the next video. Thanks so much.